Hey everyone, welcome back to another lecture of our SwiftUI Crash Course series. And today we'll be seeing how we can create our own color picker in SwiftUI. In our previous videos, we have seen how we can use pickers, how we can use date pickers. And today we are going to discuss about color pickers. So as you can see on my screen, I have a color picker view created with some dummy template code. And on the right hand side, we have the canvas. Let's just remove this text from here and add a list. And inside the list, we will be adding a color picker. So for adding a color picker, we just need to write color picker. And here we have one that have two parameters, title key and selection. So we'll select this. For the title, we can say select any color. You can give whatever title you want. For the selection, it is asking for a binding variable. So let's quickly create one where selected color which will be of type color and it will have a default value of let's say indigo and because this is asking for a binding variable let's add a dollar and then the variable name which is selected color let us reload our preview and in the preview you can see we have a select any color title on the left and a color picker on the right once i tap on this red uh, indigo color circle you will see that uh, color picker has opened from the bottom and here we have different types grid spectrum sliders so we have different ways to pick any color that we want if i select red you'll see the color will change here as well as here because this is a binding variable selected color is a binding variable you will see that the whatever color that we are selecting is visible here in this circle and we can click cross to dismiss or we can tap outside to dismiss and whatever color that we selected we can see it here so this is how color picker works this is pretty easy we just need to call color picker view and then we need to provide the title as well as a binding variable that will hold the selected color if you want to customize the appearance uh, let's say you don't want this title you only want the circle so we can use dot label hidden property to hide the label as well as you can see that the label is hidden now and we only have the picker as well as if you want to have something else instead of this title you can also go with label parameter so here we can see we have selection and label if we select this then instead of providing any title we can provide any view that we want for the label uh, let's quickly try one so we will pass selected color here and for the label i'll say circle with a height of 100 and a foreground style of selected color so i'm saying that uh, instead of title i want to use a circle and the color of the circle will be whatever color that we pick from the color picker so if i tap here and i select a red color you will see that the color of the circle is also changed so that's it about the color picker uh, it is pretty easy to implement as well as it gives a impressive ui while presenting you have different different types through which you can uh, select the color also uh, while selecting the color if you want user to have this functionality to select the opacity then you can by default it is true but if you don't want user to have this opacity functionality here you we have one more option which is supports opacity and we can set it to false once we set it to false and now once we select the color you will see that we don't get any uh, opacity selection So that's it for this video. I hope you got a clear idea about how color picker works. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing as I keep updating SwiftUI videos uh, daily. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.